Hi, this is Exploring with Em and Stu. I'm Em. And I'm Stu. And today we're here just north of Lowestoft for a bit of a coastal walk, um, as this area was heavily, heavily guarded during the Second World War. And supposedly there's some remnants of it. So that's what we're doing now. We're looking around. We've actually just come to the first part of the remnants, actually, mm -hmm. which is original barbed wire in an RAF re radar readout. Yeah. This is a chain home low radar station. Uh, which were dotted all the way up and down the coast here, as you may know. Yeah. We did one just down the road at Pakefield um, some months ago. Uh, this one, unfortunately, there's not so much left of it. It's all underground, but the bunkers are massive underground. Yeah. But we, we're not going to get in there. We're not, not going to be able to. There's people, there's guards all, all yeah. around this place. But we're going to show you the barbed wire. Yeah, that's we're quite cool. excited about Regional that. Regional barbed wire. Don't so, know you see that, do you? No, you don't. So, there you go. If you can, I'm going to try and get you as, in as close as I can. And just through there, you can see all the original barbed wire posts and the barbed wire. That will still give you a nice nip even today. Yeah, and I believe just over this area is is the hatchway for the actual bunker. For the actual bunker, yeah. yeah I've got a funny feeling. Big green you can see, see it. yeah, probably just over there somewhere, maybe. Let me have a quick look at the map just to see if I can actually point you in the actual direction. Yeah. I think. No, I think that's literally just just the through there. Just in this area. Emma's just pointing just through this I was area told here. That there was a big green hatch because I know somebody's actually been down there, but yeah. they got permission. Oh yeah, because they done a ghost hunt, didn't yeah. they, or something? Yeah, my friend Joe, Lou. They uh, they did a ghost hunt here. She's shown me all the pictures. It's amazing. Yeah. But if we ever get the opportunity to go down there, we, we will. We will. We will. Right. So but we head down the coast south. Down this way, um, Emma. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. we'll find some bunkers. There's loads of pillboxes left. All sorts of things. So. They haven't fell in the sea yet, a lot of them have. Okay. So off we go. Alright, so we might as well have a little bit of a walk. Yeah, have a bit of a walk, see if you can walk over all the Right, way. we'll see you in a bit. identify things like this for us if it's war related, it's war related yeah really know, but it seems to have an entrance and then a, and then a, a lid yeah <laughs> someone's lifted the lid off and then there's another one here so yeah and this okay, here too modern i don't know yeah i don't know but they're right next to the um the hopton chain home low radar station yeah, yeah. but give them a quick but over there just yeah. here we believe it's an, an roc we can see the fixed survey meter sticking up it looks like it's been covered over there was meant to be one here. Yeah. I don't know anything about it. But we're trying to be really quiet because we're not meant to be on here at all. Isn't it? Well, it's an ROC. It's an ROC. It's a big survey meter sticking up. Yeah, it's an ROC. So there you go. Wow. We'll have to come here at night time. We'll have to come here, yeah. We did. We'd better get away with it. Oh, very much. Right, we're coming back one night time. Yeah. <laughs> right, what we're heading for is there's a, a peel box just here. We're heading for that now. So we're going to try and get out of here. Get back on the uh, get back public onto the footpath. footpath yeah. Because it is a public footpath that runs along the coast, but because of the uh, erosion, yeah. it's got so bad they've had to close it all off. Yeah. Which and is we, a shame, think, really. we think there's loads of security on here, and I just want to get off, to be honest with you. I'm getting sick and tired of being caught by people with dogs and everything else. You know what I mean? We'll so, head to the pillbox. Ready to the pillbox. So, what we'll do is we'll see you in a little while. We'll switch the cameras on when we get back over. Right, so we've come across. First of pillboxes that we're hoping to find along here. This one is actually a machine gun post. Yeah, this is a machine gun post, this one. Yeah, rectangular. Uh, I think these are quite common in Suffolk, but we've not seen one before, have we? No, no. So, yeah, we'll take you around it. Yeah. And we'll, we've not been in yet, so we'll see what we can see. Yeah, okie dokie. Right, bear with us. Right, okay, we're going to have a look in this, um, this uh, machine gun post. Um, as, you, as you know, I will just say we've just uh, been over to the old we had to come through the radar area just radar to get station, here yeah. yeah so which was a bit iffy but we found which we believe that was actually gone the ROC which Emma's got a picture of yeah. Yeah, we, we didn't get down here I won't I won't lie to you we didn't. To see, it, no definitely not but uh, yeah here we go right okay looks like uh, yeah what's, what's in it no, it's just. What? Yeah, exactly. That's what I just thought. Computer or something. Yeah. Very small. Very small indeed. Um, let's put the light on. Sort of have a rough idea 
Again, uh, looks like they've had barbecues in here. Um, I don't think they've tried to sell it a lot, but there is a computer, which is a bit weird. And as you can see out there, perfect, perfect for a uh, machine gun nest. And you can see where here, where the brackets would have set up, yeah. maybe. There looks like there's something on the top of it, which if we can. Yeah, there's like a spigot. I don't know. If small we, spigot. If we can get up there to have a look. Yeah. We will. Okay, dokie. Okay. All, right. All right, so we're going to go back out. It's nice. To see that something like this hasn't got graffiti all over it, yeah, but it's a bit out of the way, isn't it? It's but well out of the way. You can see some metal still around yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, around, around that. Look. And I guess there would have been a door on this. Yeah, yeah. and then you, yeah, you got the. Not like, a substantial like, door. Yeah. Sort of door. And then yeah. obviously you got this blast. Uh, blast. Blast wall. This blast wall here. But you've also got a loophole at the back of it. Yeah, I just see that. I was just. Um, so you can defend. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's quite interesting. It is, and it is a really nice day to diet today as well uh, for us to be doing this. I'm going to take you around. Emma's going to get some pictures of the inside. Uh, this is on farmer's land, but obviously, as you know, we do respect that, and we're trying to get this done and get off as quick as we possibly can. So, but yeah, it's going to be looking at that. But if you see on the top, you can see there's some sort of um, maybe a gun position, I don't know. Me and Emma don't actually know about it, but you know, maybe again, all the military explorers, camo crew, all them lot maybe can help us out and tell us. And as you as you know, we get all our knowledge and our experience from doing this and asking questions, you know. This is pretty good. So there's the there it is. And Emma's getting a picture and I can see Emma up there. There she is. So yeah. Oh no, you're all right. What what did you think of it? What did it look like? Well, I'll put a picture in. Yeah, all right. She's gonna put metal. a picture in. Okay then. Well, what we're gonna do now? We're gonna do a scan of the area, um, and Emma will be putting a bit of information as the scan will be going around. So. Well, what about the pillbox? About about everything really. <laughs> about that and that because I'm gonna do a scan like you normally do. So right. I hope you enjoy that. The defences that run along the coast at Corton and Gunton rank as one of the best preserved stretches of World War II defences along the Suffolk coast. This area formed the northern boundary of Lowestoft's defensive perimeter and was so heavily defended due to the port of Lowestoft just to the south, which was considered of importance, and so given an all-round defended perimeter. Right, we're just uh, having a little walk along the beach here uh, um at Colton, and Emma was talking about these things that are falling into the sea. Uh, we're going to quickly show you. We, we didn't know if they were related to start with, but on closer inspection, they're probably not. Maybe but seen things. We don't know what they are. No. Maybe it. you might know. Pop it in the comments. Pop it in the comments, yeah. Just, we'd love to know. Exactly, let's have a look. All right, as you can see, there's. Well, I'll tell you what, there's one which is further in the distance just here, there's two there. Three, four, and five. We're and under, we're under the impression that they've probably fallen over because it's very rough on this side and on the other side it's very smooth. But they've, that means that they would have been rounded on the top. So does that mean anything to you, Rod? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is amazing. But if you look at the cliffs, you can see remnants. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up. There's remnants of buildings that was once on these cliffs. We're right on Corton Cliffs here. Yeah. Um, all along here. Gunton Cliffs, which is where all the sea defence, the, the war defences are. So that's why we're thinking maybe war related, but I don't know. It doesn't look like a jetty or anything, does no, it? No, so, no, 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 nothing like that. I, don't, I have no idea. No, so. It doesn't say my books. <laughs> See you in a sec. Right, we just walked all the way along Corton Beach and we're, we're up near Gunton now, but just before we get to, to Gunton Cliffs, where all the pillboxes are, We've come across these anti-tank blocks oh, cool. um, that run from the sea, sort of eastward. So there's a line, they're all the way down just from where the sea is. And just here? Yeah, they're quite overgrown. Overgrown, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I don't know how far they run, they look like they run quite far. You can see them up there, see if we can go just through. It goes to show how, how much of a defensive area this was. Yeah. Here, isn't it? They're really quite stopped. Um, basically, the Germans landing on the beaches here. Yeah, they've done a bloody good job. You can see them running all the yeah, way up all here. Covered in ivy, but yeah, loads of ivy. So that's quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like we only stops there. So if we 
Yeah, there's a really big anti tank block just there. It's huge. That is really big. I don't know, but I think we're getting closer now to some some really good stuff. So, yeah. um, what we're gonna walking about ten miles is worth it. Yeah, because so, if we're in, I'm in trouble. Yeah, literally, because my feet's killing me. So, all right, then we'll see you in a little while, and uh, when we see a little bit more, uh, some um, some bits and bobs. So, see you in a minute. Right, Emma, oh. what have we come across? Anti tank blocks. Anti tank blocks. Let's have a look at them, shall we? Here, God. just on the edge of Gunton Cliffs. Looks like they've been, Emma was just saying, looks like they've been trying to um, extend the caravan park here. Not with these mother mothers in the way, they're <laughs> not going to. I think yeah. they even stopped the old uh, campsite, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. But I don't know if this is some, somewhere called Tramps Alley, because that had a load of anti-tank blocks running along it. Right, okay. Not, I'll have to look at my Google Maps to see if we're actually near there. But yeah, we'll have to get a little bit of a, little bit of a scan of that. Yeah, I think we'll go over there and do that. Yeah. But we'll have a, we'll just have a quick walk round them. I know they're only anti-tank blocks, but some of them are so cool. I just think they're amazing. Look at that. And just to think they went to all that effort to put these in. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. I know. But well, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a scan. And then I can tell you a little bit about the, uh, the anti-tank blocks. I'm sure she's got loads of history. So I'll put that <laughs> in right. Block. A little bit. A little exactly. Bit. Boring, so I'll put, but... I'll put that in now. So. These reinforced concrete blocks are probably the most common form of defensive structure surviving today. Their purpose was to obstruct the progress of a tank, exposing its vulnerable underside to fire, should it attempt to cross them. The common cube form seen here were usually built measuring 3 or 5 foot square and could weigh up to 13 tonnes each, including their bases, at a rate of only 2 per day. Right, so we've reached the first of the Suffolk Square pillboxes which is scattered along Gunton Cliffs here, or Gunton Warren, also known as. Um, we can't get inside it because it looks like some alcoholic may have lived here for some time. Um, but Stu's going to take a little scan and show you the outside of it. So um, there you go. The pillboxes built along the coast here, north of Lowestoft, were mainly a larger variant of the Type 26 known locally as the Suffolk Square. They were built to accommodate eight men with rifles or light machine guns and typically had two loopholes in each wall, except the rear which had a single loophole and a door protected by a blast wall. Right, we've come up to this, uh, this area here. Uh, we believe that it might be a, a gun post, observation post, because the view that you're getting is um, like absolutely brilliant. Um, if you have a look over here, you have to follow me, you can see where all the struts were in here. This would have been more open, I reckon, mm. on the on the bushes. Maybe there was a roof? Maybe there was a roof, yeah. Mm. Uh, we have just discovered there's a hole. We've got a bit excited because we thought it was going to be like Haysborough. And um, no, it's someone who's put their uh, Rabbits rubbish. have been at it. Yeah, well, it looks <laughs> like a very big rabbit. Yeah. And then we've got these little, these little things here. Obviously, these have been broken away over the years. Yeah. What do you think that could have been? I have no idea. I mean, it could be a little bum rest. No, look. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Obviously, that's broken off, isn't it? Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. But it's very perfect yeah. in the semicircle that it's done. But yeah, this does, if you look at the, the whole area, um, it does actually look like it's an observation. If I, Emma's got the camera, if I ask Emma. I'm just going to quickly just go around. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, come on then. If, you, if I asked Emma to, to follow me. Yeah, I was just going to show them these little bits on the floor. Yeah. Um, if you can point them out, I don't know if we can pick yeah, them up on the got... camera. There was obviously something mounted. Mounted here. Here, yeah. And here. Little rectangular. I mean, this there. could have been a, a gun, a gun area, but there, there would have been have a, would have had a, a big circle platform with the Maybe. with the nuts and bolts in it. But this is the thing that I like the most. If you come up to to here and it's the view that you get and this is why I think maybe yeah. it might have been a, a observation view. area because it's perfect you could just about make out that pillbox yeah over there we've just done that and there you go cool, isn't it? yeah right. so there you have it um, right we're going to be uh, going to another pillbox now 
and uh, we'd be showing around that. It's literally about, look at what, about 500 feet away, it's not any more than that. So uh, we'll put the camera on when we get to it, so see you in a second. Right, me and Emma has just come across this this pillbox, which was like 500 yards away, it wasn't any more than that. Um, yeah, this one's in really, really bad condition. Uh, it's literally, I think, I think nature is taking over. <laughs> Most of these have fell into the sea. There was a lot more of them, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna be doing a, a wild camp soon, where Walton and the Nays has got two of their pillboxes in the ocean, haven't they? Yeah. Hopefully, the tide will be out and we can see them this time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, then we're gonna move on to our next. Um, well, we and, don't know yet until. Well, we our next pillbox, which is over there. <laughs> so, see you in a second. Right, we've just come up to this pillbox um, and uh, Emma's just checking inside it just to see if it's worth filming. Um, even just putting the camera down there and having a quick look around. But um, this is the same sort of pillbox of what we've, what we've been looking at all along here really. And there's Emma down there, look, there she is. Is it worth it Em? Yeah. Yeah? Well I'm going to pass the camera down to Emma and she will um, get some filming done for you. There you go. Lights on. Yeah, because my torch is pretty dead. Yeah, that's all right. There you go. Right. Right, so not a hell of a lot to see. But there's these, uh, there would have been loop holes around the edge, but they've been bricked up for some reason. Don't really know why. And if you can see here, look, these, they've got ledges along. So I don't really know what that would have been used for. They're just leaning. Lean in your elbows with your guns, I don't know. <laughs> but just a little sweep. There's nowhere near as much rubbish in this one as there was in the other one. But again, these would have been built by using uh, wooden wooden planks. Just pouring the concrete on the top, like you can make it out on the top there. So, yeah, pretty cool. Right, I think that's all we've got to see. So we'll just show you a little bit of the outside and then we'll get on to the next bit. Right, we've... Uh... We're just about to leave this pillbox. Emma's just getting some pictures. Uh, we're going to be going to another few that I've spotted up on the cliff. Um, well, we're up on the cliff, it's going to be down the cliff. So we'll see you in a little while and um, when we get there, we'll uh, give you what we can. So here we've got our next Suffolk Square pillbox running along this gunton, gunton here. Um, this one's in pretty good condition, but we're not going to go inside it because I think the, uh, the poor bloke who was living in the first one possibly moved it at this one at some point afterwards uh, it's full of cider and all sorts right. um, but we'll take a scan from the outside anyway yeah okay then we'll do that Right, we're coming up to yet another Suffolk yeah, pillbox. We have found a couple, like since quite since a few we, actually. We didn't film and I took nah. a few pictures. You know, a few of them have been used for rather unsanitary, you know, reasons. Yeah. So we didn't go in them. Yeah, but a bit dirty I've a few actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this could be a local dogging area, to be fair. Yeah, that's what we're we're not wondering. Not that I know anything about that. No, I hope not. Of course I do. <laughs> but this one's uh, a little bit more buried. This is a bit more under. A under more buried. A lot more buried undergroundy. Where you ain't getting in it, even if you want oh to. yeah, look, it's actually been filled in. Looks like they've attempted to oh, fill it that in. Just sunk it could have sunk, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm glad that we ain't got to get in it though. No. no but that means that that's going to be well preserved. Yes. So, which is Hopefully, brilliant. Yes. No, I'm not getting in that. No. There's only so many used condoms you can see in one day. Cool. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Right. Well, we're looking for one more thing. And we haven't found it, and we are <laughs> we desperately looking yet. for it. So, I think we go that way. do you reckon? Yes. Okay, we're going to go that way. All right then. So, see you in a minute. See you in a minute. Right. Um, what we've actually come across now is uh, an old gun emplacement, uh, which, by the looks of it, like natural water's going into it. 
it's a bit weird. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a scan and here's some information for it from Emma. Now a water feature, this gun position consisted of a hole fast, a concrete sandbagged wall, simply built by filling Hessian bags with concrete, which was stacked in the desired position, then left to dry. Presumably, a type of overhead protection would also have been provided. This six pounder anti tank gun emplacement consisted of a hole fast with a circular concrete roof for protection against dive bombing. Unfortunately, in our haste to get back to the car before it got dark, we completely forgot to record our usual goodbye. Right, so as from exploring with Emma Stu, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.